Hey first grade, it's Mrs. Myers coming at you live from a wonderful fireplace. I've got my friend Jethro the giraffe and my friend Ellie the elephant here to help me today. And I've got my Jojo bow and my favorite teaching shirt, so I am set. So I got a video earlier this week from Jackson who was reading Soaring, our geode. So that inspired me to read it to you today. But before we start, there are some words I want to go over. And luckily, I brought my foundations board. So I'm going to write a word, and I'm going to show it to you, and I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to tap it out and see if you know what the word is. These are all words that we will be seeing in the geo today. So my first word is coming at you. Let's see if you are able to read it. Let me give you a minute. I'm going to mark it up. I see my ch I see my suffix ing. I'm going to scoop my base word. I can even underline my digraph blend. So that word with me is inching. Inching. So that's my first word. Hopefully you're able to get that. Jethro's got my handy dandy eraser. That's one of the words we will see. My next word. Remember to check our B and D on this word. And it has one of our favorite phonics dance. Chunks A W. Show me your paws with your claws. Let's tap this word together. D A N D A N. My next word that I'll show you is something we actually just learned. And so I'm really hopeful that you remember this. It's the super silent E. I want to see if you remember what that E does when I see a word with it. We got this word. I can underline my digraph right here. Then remember that super silent E comes over and makes the I say its name. Remember, I, when it's a short vowel, is I, I, but a long vowel is I. So this word is w, I, t, white. That's very important. It's not wit, it's w, I, t, white. There are a few words with that super silent E. We're going to do another one that's also in this text called soaring. This one has a blend and a super silent E. Remember when I come over to my vowel, it's now a long vowel. So I have my blend at the front. I have my super silent E coming over and remember to check our B and our D. For this word, let's tap it. G -u -i -d, glide. Very good. Hopefully you're following along at home trying to tap these out on your own. I've got just a few more just to make sure that you know what these words are. This one has a bonus letter. Let me give you a minute to tap that out to yourself. Very good, let's go. G -a -o -l, goal. It's like a seagull. Goal. Now it's a little tricky to pronounce goal. It's not goal like a soccer goal. Although I love that, goal. A couple more. This one is one we have not talked about. I-G-H, I-G-H, I-I-I. So this is I, high. Not like high, this is high, like high and low. High. I bet that's coming into play with our soaring high in the air. I've got one more for you. This one has a lot of things we've talked about. It has a it has a digraph, it has a digraph blend, and it has a suffix and a glued sound. So many things. I want to see if you know at home what this word says. So if I were to mark it up, I'm going to underline my digraph, underline my digraph blend. I have to box that glued sound I and K, pink ink, and then I have to circle my suffix I and G. So this word Tap it with me. Sh, er, ink, ing. Shrinking means to get smaller, shrinking. So shout out to Jethro for holding my eraser. I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to start my book, Soaring. I want you to get out your geodes. You have this book with you. It's in the My Geodes, the black and white copy. You're going to follow along with me. I'd love for you to even read along with me. So I'm going to start at page one, and it has the little bird in the bottom corner. So this is the page you should be on. 
The sun is up and inching high. We just did that word inching and high. The dawn is full of song. As warm wind rises in the sky, a hawk is soaring long. Drifting left and drifting right, she does not flap her wings. A spin of wind and puffs of white, she soars. What thrill it brings. Flip. Lifted up, her wings are long. The wind will help her glide. Over hills, her wings are strong. She soars across the sky. Remember, sometimes Y says I or E. In this case, it says I. Sk, I. A red hot sun is passing by. The day is rich with song. As warm wind rises in the sky, a gull is soaring long. Remember, that's like a seagull. Drifting left and drifting right, he does not flap his wings. A spin of wind and puffs of white, he soars. What thrill it brings. Now I'm connecting. Something Chris always tells us is repeated language. This is repeated language from another page we've already read. Lifted up, his wings are long. The wind will help him glide. Over bluffs, his wings are strong. He soars across the sky. This has some beautiful illustrations. I love it. Should be on page eight. The shrinking sun is sinking low. At dusk, a hush of song, but still a warm wind helps and blows, an eagle soaring long. That word eagle, take a scaredy cat E, take a scaredy cat A, you put them together and what do they say? E, eagle. Drifting left and drifting right, she does not flap her wings. A spin of wind and puffs of white, she soars, what thrill it brings. I wonder if you know why I'm connecting. Repeated language, you're right. Lifted up, her wings are long. The wind will help her glide. Over cliffs, her wings are strong. She soars across the sky. But now a soaring day must end. The moon is inching high. Till the birds must soar again past colors in the sky. And then in the back, it has a heading. Our, our heading tells us about the animals. And then our pictures tell us, we have an illustration and a photograph. It tells us the different kinds of birds. There's a red-tailed hawk, a herring gull, and a golden eagle. And then you are always welcome to read the more in the back. It has a beautiful photograph as well. Hopefully you enjoyed today's version of soaring. Shout out to Jethro woo and Ellie woo for helping us today. Please, please, please be reading your geodes. If you have a request for one that you really love and you'd like me to read, then I can do that for you. Thanks again to Jackson for this inspiration. Send me videos of you reading. Send me pictures of what you're doing. I miss you. Love ya. Bye.